Hey guys, it's 2019. Happy New Year. Welcome to the new year. And what a better way to start out the new year than with a new aquarium build. I'm back on the channel finally and I'm so excited. So let's get into it. Hey guys, Happy New Year and welcome to 2019. Exciting new things for the channel going into 2019. I've got a new aquarium build for you. And before we get into that, I'd like to go into some details about the channel. As you can see, we've rebranded. We're now Lone Star Aquatics. I am no longer Aqua Redneck. Even though I am the Aqua Redneck, my name is Nick. I live here in Texas. I'm an aquarium enthusiast and hobbyist. And if you notice, I've been off the channel for about three or four years, actually about four or five years. I've had some things going on in my personal life that's kept me off the channel. That's why I haven't been very active. But now I'm in a better situation now. We can set up and go forward with uh, doing some aquarium builds for you. Also, I'd like to thank everybody for hitting 1,000 subscribers. Like I said, I haven't been on this channel for about three or four years. Actually, like I said, four or five years. Uh, but I got four videos up, including this one. Uh, previously, just three. On my 90 gallon Dutch planted tank. That's a kind of a mouthful for me. Uh, as you see in those videos, I did a walkthrough of how that was all set up and everything. And I'm gonna be doing the same thing on this new build. But before we get into that, like I said, I wanna thank you. Y'all been very supportive of that. I haven't been very active on this channel, but yet I still hit a thousand subscribers. We're gonna turn that around. First off, first off, we started with the rebranding. Like I said, we're now Lone Star Aquatics and we're no longer Aqua Redneck. So a lot of great things gonna be happening on this channel. I've got more time to dedicate to this channel to give y'all the content that, uh, that you're looking for. And that's one reason why I also took the break is I wasn't able to deliver the content that I really wanted to for this channel. Uh, so, and then with all the personal things that were going on in my life, I wasn't able to dedicate all the time that I needed to. So I wasn't going to put out videos when I couldn't put out videos constantly for you guys. But all that's going to change now going forward. So I want to thank y'all for 1,000 subscribers. Uh, and I'm going to be a lot more active on this channel now going forward, especially with these new aquarium builds we have going. Uh, so once again, I know I've said it about three or four times. Thank you so much for allowing me to come into your home and 1,000 subscribers. I get the emails that I've got new subscribers. I get emails, I've got comments. I try to comment back when I can. Sometimes I can't. Uh, that 90 gallon has been taken down. It's been taken out for about four or five years now. When I moved from my home, I didn't have space to put it into an apartment. And so I really didn't have any updates for the, the dwarf grass video, which is really popular. Uh, but we'll, we'll get that set up again in the future. Uh, I don't know when, but it is something I plan on getting back up. I also got several other aquariums I'm gonna get building as well. I've got a 500, uh, a 300, some 220s, some hundreds. It's just scattered uh, scattered aquariums I'm gonna get going for you. But before we get into what I've got started off for 2019, again, thank you guys. 1,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can push for uh, 2,000 subscribers now going forward. Now getting into this build for 2019, it is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've been in this, uh, this hobby for, I don't know, since I was in high school and that was, that, I, or actually before high school, since I was a little kid uh, in my teens, even younger than that. And I've done saltwater aquariums in the past, but I've never done a salt aquarium, saltwater aquarium quite like this one before, where it's done right. Uh, I've had friends that have had saltwater aquariums in the past. Uh, I've helped them set them up. So that is gonna be the new build going in for 2019. It is gonna be this new 45 gallon JBJ rimless all in one system. It's got the built in sump uh, and it's gonna be a high tech tank. It's gonna have the skimmer. We're gonna do auto top off. We're gonna put the apex controller on there. Uh, a lot of other interesting things for it. I don't have a stand for it, so I've got to build a stand for it. So I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna build that stand. Living in Texas, I have a uh, rustic decor around the around my apartment here, so I'm gonna build that stand out of pallet wood, and I'm gonna show you how I built it. That's not the only build we have going on. I also have an Innovative Marine 16 gallon tank that I'm gonna be doing uh, low tech on it. It's a nano tank, and it's gonna be a good comparison, good experiment to see how, how much a high tech tank uh, thrives versus a low tech nano tank. So that's one thing we're gonna have going on. So we're gonna have two builds going on at the same time. The high tech 45 gallon JBJ and then the Nano Innovative Marine 16 gallon. And we'll be able to compare those side by side. How much a high tech tank uh, versus a Nano low tech tank, how much those thrive. And if you don't have the ability to do a high tech tank and you wanna do a low tech tank, we're gonna be able to cover both those bases. So they're gonna be two salt water coral reef tanks. We're gonna have builds going on at the same time. And I'm really excited about that. And like I said, 
the 90 gallon if you if you've seen that one before I, I took you through a, a tour of how I had set that up that was a 90 or not really set it up but give you a tour of how it was set up and that was a high-tech tank and I really didn't show you how I built that tank well with this 45 gallon I'm gonna show you how I, I set it up from the start do some reviews on some of the equipment uh, walk you through the setup of, a, of that equipment and the lighting as well and I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the 16 gallon so if you're in, in if you're in the market for doing a low-tech nano tank I'm gonna be helping you out in the in, in those regards as well and showing you how I set that up being in an apartment I don't have a lot of space uh, to be honest with you so I know there's some of you that may be in the same situation you may be in an apartment but you want to set up an aquarium I'm gonna show you how to maximize that space uh, and be able to set up these tanks but not take up a large footprint uh, and then again you may be in a 3,000 square foot home and your wife doesn't want you taking up the whole house with fish equipment that's understandable so the, these tips and uh, how to's about what I'm gonna do going forward is might help you out a lot for how to build these aquariums out on a small footprint whether it be a low-tech or high-tech tank also uh, the, the Petco dollar a gallon sale is currently going on in my area I don't know about you but it's going on in my area it's about February the 6th uh, so I'm, I've got several 20 and 10 set in storage with my bigger tanks I'm gonna be picking up a couple of those as well I'm gonna be building some uh, quarantine tanks for the crap for the for the crap shows you how much I know uh, for the coral uh, I should say uh, Quarantine to coral, coral uh, grow out tanks, as well as quarantine tanks for the saltwater fish. I'm not going to be rushing myself on this tank, so we're going to be doing a lot of vlogging on here uh, going forward with this tank. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it's going to be a very slow setup, so I don't want to rush myself on this. On this, So that's one thing I, I very highly recommend is if you want to do a build like this, of course you can set one up really quick and, and go into it, but I'm going to show you how to properly set up a saltwater tank, not rush your time and uh, in future videos show you how to plan whether you're doing a saltwater or freshwater plant a tank uh, I'll get into how to set those up and plan for them uh, and like I said I don't have a very very big footprint but we're gonna be I'm gonna show you how to build the racks for those quarantine tanks the sizes I'm gonna be using for the coral grow tanks I'll be showing you how to do those as well so that's just some things that's going on on the channel right now like I said I am back I have more time to dedicate to the channel and I'm very excited to be back and I'm very thankful for all of y'all for sticking around with me uh, even though I haven't posted any content over the past four or five years like I said that's gonna change going forward uh, and I, I'm, I'm very excited for it and looking forward to everything we're gonna be doing we're gonna do a lot of things on this channel uh, some live streams with you guys some some Q&A's some giveaways uh, a lot of reviews and stuff especially when I start building these tanks showing you how to build the stands everything else doing an RODI system I already have that stuff from my previous tank and when I've had the previous saltwater tank set up in the past and I'm gonna show you how to set that up, especially an apartment on a, on a small footprint, and maybe even for yourself. Like I said, if you're in a bigger house and your your wife does your wife or girlfriend doesn't want you to take up uh, a lot of the room, I can show you how to set that up on a small footprint. We're gonna be covering all that in, in future videos. So once again, guys, thank you. I am back, and I'm glad to be back. It's 2019, and I'm very excited to get these builds started for you. And future videos. Next time you see me, we will be building these tanks. So in the meantime, comment, like, subscribe if you haven't done so. And we are no longer, like I said, Aqua Redneck. I am now Lone Star Aquatics. And I'm looking forward to getting into these builds for you for 2019. So stick around and let's get these builds started. And like I said, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. I don't want to make this video too much longer, but I just wanted to explain a little bit something uh, about my background and why I had taken a very long extended absence from this channel. Uh, back in 2013, uh, about March 2013, I moved in with my mom and my grandmother, who my mom was taking care of my grandmother at the time. Uh, I moved in with them because I found out my mom had cancer. Uh, and then in six months later in September, uh, September 11th of 2013, she passed away uh, from her battle of cancer. That's what inspired me to do the 90 gallon Dutch Aquarium uh, build. And I did that to take my, uh, I did that to take my mind off of her death and also to remember her. And it was in honor of her. Uh, my grandmother, I stayed with my grandmother uh, to take care of her since my mom was no longer there to take care of her. Uh, she loved that tank. My grandmother loved that 90 gallon tank. She loved just watching the fish. Everybody who would come in, uh, she would just show it off. She was really proud of it. And it made me really proud of it as well, especially when she knew why I built that tank. 
in that aquarium. Uh, so I'd been living with her for since 2013 and been taking care of her. It was a real struggle. She was declining and going downhill. Uh, and it's with great sadness that uh, I, I say that she passed away this past Saturday, January 5th. Uh, she, lived a, she lived a good life though. She lived a good life. She was 94 years old. And I have my mom and my grandparents, my, my grandmother and my grandfather to thank for me being in this hobby. Uh, I recorded those clips earlier, a couple of days ago. Uh, they were real hard to get through, kind of like this. I'm, I'm, it's a real struggle for me to get through this as well. Stumbling my words. I just don't have my composure, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, just like anyone else would, he'd be going through this time. But when, once things settle down and we get into the build, things will get a lot better. Uh, but I just wanted to explain to you why I took some time off from the channel. I was spending time with my grandmother, taking care of her. And without their support, uh, I would not have learned the hobby when I was little. I mean, they, they got me countless aquariums. Uh, learning the fish, learning how to be a fish keeper, how to probably take care of them, do the water changes, feedings, all that. Uh, and without them, I, I would not be in this hobby right now and be able to share what I learned with you guys from what they taught me. The 90 gallon bill, like I said, was in honor of my grand or in honor of my mother. Uh, this 45 gallon reef tank that we're about to get into will be in honor of my grandmother. Uh, since they were big inspirations and supporters in my life when it comes to the hobby. So I just wanted to explain to you guys real quick uh, why I took some time away from the channel. That is why uh, and why this video is kind of rough for me. Uh, it's been a, pa a rough past couple of days and with me losing my grandmother that, that kind of compounded everything. But when we come back though, in the next video, we will be getting into this build and it will be dedicated to my grandmother going forward. And you can bet if you see my 90 gallon, I, I did not spare any expenses building that aquarium and I'm not going to spare any expenses building this 45 and then any other aquarium going forward. So I appreciate your time guys uh, and appreciate you allowing me to share this with you and we'll see you in the next video.